Good day everyone! Welcome to Mapi Series with me, your teacher Karen. What is your favorite team sport? Do you know how it was invented? Or the name of its inventor? Today, I will tell you a story. But before that, let's try if you're familiar with these two words, strenuous and violent. Let's have a guessing game. I will show you pictures and you will choose a letter that describes it. The first picture is an activity or action that involves a lot of energy or effort. Is it A, strenuous, or B, valuable? Well, the second picture is the motion of passing a ball back and forth over the net. Is it A, strenuous, or B, valley? If you get the same answers, then you're correct. Alright, I think you're all set and ready to listen. Our story is all about volleyball, a brief history. William G. Morgan and James C. Smith, the inventor of basketball, became friends when Morgan was a student at Springfield College in Massachusetts. After his graduation, Morgan worked as the director of the physical education at the Young Men's Christian Association in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He developed exercise programs for the adult men. He realized that basketball was too strenuous for older participants and decided to come up with a new sport. On February 9, 1895, William G. Morgan invented volleyball, which he called as Mintonet. This new sport was designed with a combination of several sports such as basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball. During his experimentations, he authored these words. Tennis occurred to me, but this required rackets, balls, a net, and other equipment, so it was eliminated. But the idea of a net seemed to be a good one. We raised it to a height of about 6 feet 6 inches from the ground just above the head of an average man. We needed a ball and among those we tried was a basketball bladder but this was too light and too slow. Therefore, we tried the basketball itself which was too big and too heavy. Then Morgan came up with a bright idea, a brand new type of ball. Morgan asked A.G. Spalding and brothers Chikuki in Massachusetts to create a lighter ball, and a leather-covered ball of mintonet was born. The offensive style of setting and spiking was first showcased in 1916 in the Philippines. In 1917, the scoring system per game was changed from 21 to 15 points. While in 1920, the rule stipulating a maximum of 3 hits per team was instituted. The name was changed too. Originally, volleyball was two words, valley and ball. Until 1952, that it was condensed into one word. Soon it was created, the new sport spread across the globe. The U.S. troops in Europe played volleyball at camps during the World War I. Morgan wrote, It seems like a dream to me when I think of the origin of volleyball and its development. I hope its usefulness will continue. Its legacy will continue and provide more opportunities with a huge amount of satisfaction. One commercial mentioned this phrase, you must challenge yourself to do better no matter the cost. And one person who lives by this is Eliza Valdez, our pride of Katangas when it comes to valuable. That's all for today. I hope you learned something about the history of valuable. 
see you next time.